now that we're tracking player scores, we can build a scoreboard. Bring out a new script gizmo and let's name it scoreboard. First, let's bring over the when player enters world code block. From our values tab, grab set player persistent variable. Then drag in the green player pill and select score from the dropdown. Now when a player enters our world, their score will start at zero. From the variables tab, we are going to create a player list. Let's call it current players. Make sure to select type player and toggle the list to on. You will know you've created a list because there are brackets around the type icon. From the bottom of our operators tab, grab the add to list code block into the player enter event. We can then drag the green player pill to the left and the new list variable to the right. Next, bring the when player exits world event over as well. And back on our operators tab, bring over the remove item at index from list code block. This requires a number value, which is the index of the item, which we can get by using the index of item in list code block. So now we just need to drag down the green player pill and fill out both empty list slots with our list variable. Awesome, with these additions, now we're tracking the current players in our world. In our scoreboard, we need to create a display loop. Bring over the when world is started and when event is received code blocks. Change my event to loop. Then place the send event to object code block in the world start event. Select loop from the my event dropdown, then place send event with delay into loop and set it to loop as well. On our variables tab, create a new variable called display me. This will be a string. Bring over the set to code block from the values tab and place a string input on the right. Then put the display me variable on the left side. Let's type splash count colon into the string input. And now we have a title for our scoreboard. From actions, bring over the display text code block. We will leave this as self, as our script will run on a text gizmo. Then replace the string input with display me. Now that we have the display loop completed, we need to create a while loop, which will allow us to add all of the player names and scores to the display me string. While loops are extremely powerful and they allow you to quickly iterate through a list. Please note that while requires a finite number of iterations, so this can break if there are too many actions running in each iteration. The first thing we need to do is to create a new variable called iterator, which is a number. From the values tab, place set to above the display text code block, putting iterator on the left side. At the bottom of the operators tab, grab the length of list code block, placing it on the right. We can then put in our current player's list into the length of list code block to get the length. Place the while code block between a set to and display, and then bring the greater than symbol over. We will place iterator on the left and zero on the right. Now our while loop will only run when the iterator is greater than zero. Indent a set to code block underneath the while, placing iterator on the left and a minus symbol on the right. We can then put iterator and the A slot and a number input set to one in the B slot. This will allow us to cycle through the entire list of players. It's important to note that the player positions available in the list are one less than the list's length. In other words, a list starts with zero being the first item and the length minus one being the last item. That said, the next few code blocks will go below the set to code block and also be indented into the while loop. Now from the values tab, bring over three more set to code blocks. We will then create a new player variable called current player. Place this to the left side of the first set to code block. Then from operators, we will grab get item from list and place it on the right side. Place iterator into the left side of this code block and our list variable on the right side of this code block. Now we've saved the current player as a variable rather than having to always call the get item from list code block. On the operators tab, grab a plus symbol to put on the right of the remaining set two code blocks 
and an additional plus symbol on the right of each of those pluses. We will then put a display me on the left side of the set to, as well as to the far left of each plus symbol. This allows us to add onto the display me variable. Bring a string input into both of the remaining A slots. Type in the code for a line break into the first string and a colon space into the second string. From operators under player, place the name of player code block into the B slot after the break, placing the current player variable inside of it. Then from values, place variable as string in the last B slot and bring the get player variable inside of it. We can then fill it out, selecting score from the dropdown and putting current player in the player slot. Now every player will have their own line under the splash count and that displays the player name, colon, and then their score. So great work. We can test this out by attaching the script to a text gizmo and then entering the world. I recommend we place the text on a solid background to create a proper scoreboard. Very nice work. 